Jelly roll cakes are thin sponge cakes that are filled and then rolled, and they give a pastry chef a wonderful range of creativity. I'll start with a classic raspberry jelly roll. All jelly roll cakes start with the sponge cake. That's where it begins, and that's the skill we want to master. Now, this basic vanilla sponge cake for the classic raspberry jelly roll uses four whole eggs. It's important the eggs are at room temperature, so they whip to a fuller volume. I'll also be whipping the yolks, so I'll save them in a separate bowl. I'll just add a pinch of salt to the whites. As I start beating the eggs, I'll add two tablespoons of regular granulated sugar. They need a medium peak for these eggs. And there we go. A nice medium peak where the curve of the whites just curls over a little bit. Set these whites aside for now. They'll get folded in towards the end. Now I have the yolks I've reserved and I'll sift in a quarter cup of icing sugar. The fine grind of the icing sugar lends to the flexibility in the sponge cake, making it easy to roll. And now I whip these until they're thick and creamy and doubled in volume. The yolks with the icing sugar are pale and thick. And the last addition before the flour is just about a teaspoon of vanilla. Just whisk that in. Now first I'll sift in a quarter cup of cake and pastry flour. And I use my whip attachment, or you can use a whisk, and just by hand, quickly fold in the flour. I like to use the whip attachment so I don't deflate the yolks or the whites. And I have to add now half of the whipped egg whites. And I fold them in until almost combined, but not fully combined, because I do have another opportunity to fold when I add the rest of the whites. So now the remaining flour, a half a cup of the cake and pastry. I add the flour and the whites in two stages so I can keep the air in both the whites and the yolks. It's that gradual introduction of different ingredients. And now the final addition of the whites. And for the final folding of the whites, I switch to a spatula. That way I can reach right to the bottom of the bowl and lift the batter up. And at this point, I want to make sure the whites are fully incorporated into the yolk base. I have my pan ready, and it takes a special pan to make a jelly roll, a jelly roll pan. I've lined the bottom of the pan with parchment, but I actually leave the sides ungreased so the cake has something to stick onto. And what sets it apart from others is this tall lip so that you can spread the cake evenly to the corners and it allows the cake to rise. It's important to make sure this cake batter is as level as possible so it bakes evenly and rolls beautifully. Now the nice thing about a jelly roll sponge cake compared to other larger cakes is it takes no time in the oven. I already have one that's been baking in the oven at 350 for 12 minutes. You test the doneness of sponge cakes by just giving them a little press and when they spring back, you know they're baked all the way through. Now, the real secret behind a jelly roll cake is creating jelly roll memory by working with it while it's warm, rolling it up and letting it cool rolled up so then it won't crack, it's easy to unroll, fill and re-roll again. So the first thing I do is loosen the sides of the pan and then next is to give the top of the cake a good dusting with icing sugar. Then take a clean tea towel and put it over top the cake. I've got another jelly roll pan and I'll put it on top of the cake and then give it a little flip upside down. So now the cake's upside down. Definitely don't want to roll it with the parchment paper. Then I give this side a light dusting with icing sugar. And this is just so nothing sticks to the cake itself. Then I take the tea towel, tuck it in and start rolling. And it's this technique that creates jelly roll memory. After the cake cools like this completely in the tea towel, when I unroll it, then fill it with the raspberry jam and roll it up again, it will remember this shape. So I'll just take this over to the cooling rack to cool completely. I have one that's already cooled. So just be gentle with it. It's kind of like unrolling a poster. I've got about two thirds of a cup of a good raspberry jam. 
and spread it evenly across the surface, just like spreading jam on toast. Now to roll it up again. And there we go, a classic jelly roll. A dusting of icing sugar on top, polishes up the look, and then the slice and reveal that beautiful interior. And there it is, a classic raspberry jelly roll.